Hello, this is VLR, and welcome back to Let's Play Equestria Bound. After my sudden inexplicable death, I have been replaced with a clone that has all of my memories. Because that guy from Equestria Daily is cool kinda like that. Yes, Bottle Rocket. I need my Bottle Rockets. Actually, I'm trying to get to um, Manhattan. I always want to call it Foresight because that's what it is in Earthbound. Desert Gem Digging Place. Keep out. Hello, Diamond Dog. This hole is great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. Arg, I thought we could find gems here, but all we found is worth a sand. I am starving. You, Pony, give me something to eat. Pony has lost stuff. What are you going to give me? Would you like... Hmm. How about a lucky sand? No, a croissant. Have a croissant. Good Pony. When we find gems, we will give you a couple. Not a lot, but some. Dig! More digging! And yes, you really should give him food. You can do it later, but, you know, it just makes it slightly easier for you in the long run. It's one less zoning you have to do. It's small, but you can. It's small, but you can sleep here, pony! See? These guys can be nice. That's nice now, but just wait until, you know, they break into Rarity's house or something. I don't know. Anyways, we're actually halfway through the desert. I can knock it out of here. This is not good. Uh, there we go. Let's continue our trek through the desert, now that we have full HP and I did have to cure a sunstroke before the episode. And that was on Dinky, but it didn't do much. Anyways, here's the end. And look! At the end, the traffic mysteriously is gone! Amazing how traffic can change. Dinky! Waking sunstroke. I want to see something. There's three guys in the earth in Earthbound that come here. I'm Big Brother Bento Bean. I'm Little Brother Jumping Bean. I'm Princess Cadence. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm a broken slot machine, but these brothers and their friend are very truthful to you. They'll make you happy. Yes. I lost. Oh well. Bye, Pinto Bean, Jumping Bean, and Princess Cadence. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if all these are, if or if some of these are original text, because I know some of them are My Little Pony base, and this is from Earthbound. But, you know. If it's a, if like the desert was original music, that's some very nice music. And I know that's Bab Seed. Must mean we're in Manhattan. I hope Babs is in here. He's got the soda guy. Hello. Manhattan's always been a big city, but it's more developed even by civility even more since Mr. Jet Set hit the big time. It's been good for the city. I'm sorry, I have the abridged version of this song in my head. By the way, you can enter through either the main door or this little side door. It takes you to the same place. Please have your tickets ready. You can buy a ticket? Yes. Damn, I'm just short. I have to come back in a little bit. After I get six bucks. Oh, no, that's not an enemy. What happened to those diamond dogs in the desert? The amount of gems they're expecting to find must be worth a fortune. We will pay off a million bit, bit dead easy. I have no idea what I do with that kind of cash. Where are all the enemies? 
Back in good old days, Jet Set was in charge of the Canterlot branch of the Equestrian Express. Recently, he came back here with some rude filly and quickly took over the company. Not even the Royal Guards here owe more allegiance to his money than to the Princess. May hands in a pretty poor state. Ugh. Dinosaurs! I like dinosaurs. Gotta go to the Dinosaur Museum. Of course, the Dinosaur Museum doesn't have real dinosaur bones. They're all replicas. They are fictional creatures, after all. What? You didn't have dinosaurs? If you still want to see the dinosaurs, it'll be five bits each. Okay. Find an academic researcher inside. Okay. I was about to say, and absolutely no one else. I wonder how many animals go extinct before any pony discovers them. I want to see a live dinosaur in my life. Well, apparently they're all fake, so... Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. So... Are dinosaurs about as real as humans? Or is, is this just kind of like some of that creationist bullshit? No offense to creationists. If you remember, I insult every group here. I am an equal opportunity insulter. Those are both believed to be from Saudi Arabia. More information pending the Saudi Arabian government letting us back into the country. Hello. I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days few ponies come here. I'm Dusty Bones, the academic researcher. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've got out of my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I heard that dinosaurs were found in the lower side of Saddle Arabia. And that there were lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaur ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. We'll have to come in here a lot later, but... Well, for now... That's all we have to do in here. I don't even think we had to do that much. So, what we got up here? Oh, it's the department store. I wonder why the department store is closed. Because they're not... I mean, Jet Set bought this department store. Strange things start happening. Temporary closed. Hee hee hee. Spoopy music! So this is the Jet Set building. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey wait, do you know what solitaire is? Do you even know what a shirt is? Does it, anyone else think that ponies get sexier the more clothes they have on? I mean, what? I'm an elite businessman who works in Jet Set's office. Hi, you small stuff. What brings you to Jet Set building? Well, I'm here to take down... someone? This elevator is only for Miss TR's use. It's directly to the 47th floor. Wait, Miss TR? Let's go! She's probably happy that I'm not Miss Tiara. Again, remember, this is mid-season 3, so anything that happened in season 4 and season 5, no go. Are you a friend of Miss Tiara? It's okay to visit her here, but don't wander around the building. Some pony might be suspicious and take a pot shot at you with a custard pie. Wait, what? Whoops, I was almost going to beat you up. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Um... You don't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. Oh, look. It's little blank blank dinky. Have you come here to beg for money? Don't you recognize me? I suppose you're just awed by my high-class glory. I'm Diamond Tiara. I've climbed the social ladder, and now I'm Mr. Jetset's partner. And I give political and economic advice. I heard there was some ratty-looking foal looking for Mr. Jetset. Was that you, Dinky? This isn't a place for the likes of you! 
Get out now, loser! No, oh, that was rude. You must never show your face around Miss Tiara. You got that? Bitch, I will kick your ass. Oh look, it's the little blank blank dinky. Have you come here to beg? Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, 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 I already read it. Now I have to wait for these guys to shove me out again. Okay, we won't come back in this room. I figured, you know, either they'd immediately kick me out or someone would say something different. That was actually kind of a letdown, to be honest. I don't remember what they did in Earthbound. Probably the same thing. Hello. You haven't changed much, have you, Dinky? I'm filthy rich. Owner of Barnyard Bargains and Diamond Tiara's father. I'm glad to see she's going out and making a name for herself. I was getting a bit worried. So, why don't you just scoot along and let's take care of everything? Thank you, Mr. Filthy Rich. Because you are awesome. Father of the Year. Private elevator, not for operation by the general public, jet set building manager. So, what do I have to do to prevent it? But not like an airship goes down, there's no crashing and we shouldn't explode. Shouldn't being the key word. Is the elevator in Earthbound normally? Whoa. I'm just going to go chalk that up to error in ROM. Sure, it wasn't supposed to give me that little flash of elevator. No spoopy elevator. Okay, so to proceed on with the mission, I need to find out how much money this place cost. Yes, 30 bits. Okay, I need 30 bits. I like how one ticket gets in three people. Ponies. Phillies. Thank you, ma'am. Are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. You never gave me a tip? Never mind. Well. Oh, I... There's one thing that's been bothering me, even back when I originally tried to play this. Why is the phone on a little table instead of directly on the desk like it is in Earthbound? I mean, I guess it could be done for creator's personal preference, but kind of weird that they just changed that. Where are all the enemies? Must have found a bunch of crazy people. Can I buy a ticket? And we need to present the ticket. Thanks a lot, please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. Take a side door. Hello. So you're a DJ Pwn3 fan? What? No, she can't leave. She owes me over a million bits. No, there's nothing about her contract. She has racked up a million bits in room service. Want to pay off her debts? Um, sure, but you need probably need a diamond the size of your head. Manage that? Sure, come and see me. Well, okay. Well, these people aren't, aren't all crowded around the table, but I also can't talk to them. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What are these things? What? These are not ponies. When Dinky arrives, Miss Scratch told me to let her in. So please, come in. How do you know I'm Miss Scratch? Minuet, you're everywhere. I guess I'm stuck here again. This time it's my own fault. I ran up huge room service bills. I guess I probably a little too hard a few many times. A few too many times. Yay, let's see if her show's different. Got a real bombshell show for you tonight. You know who I'm talking about, because I know who I'm talking about. It's GA Pwn 3 and her extended Manhattan stay. Three, two, one, go!
Is this really how dubstep concerts work? A guy just sits at a... Or a guy or a girl sits at a... Table and... Well... Does stuff with noises? You know what I mean. Okay, that's all we can do here for now. But... Doing all that triggered another event. So we had to do it. Oh, hi. It doesn't quite tell you that it's triggered an event, though. So, we have to go find out our... There's a crazy person! You meet the Mad Mare. Oh, that hurt. I won! Can't wait till we get to the other part of this area. In retrospect, I should have healed before I grabbed that. To be fair, I didn't really think about... Oh, look! Now I can heal... Sweetie Belle, was it? Uh, Apple Bloom. I can't help but I love the parody versions. I need to get those songs so I can like put them on my phone, which is basically my MP3 player. Do they even still make iPods anymore? I thought I heard they discontinued those. The bad buffalo. Uh oh. How bad is he? Pretty bad, actually. He became tame. Oh, hey, I just noticed that Sweetie Belle has over a hundred MP now. See? What was once a smaller hole is now a big hole. Ugh, more digging. Oh, I was wondering if these people were here. I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what you'll find. Porn. They have a live broadcast for the dig. I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. I think you should dig somewhere else. Oh, uh, yeah. Decora. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about Dig, I can't help it. As a bender. I don't think I need anything from them right now. But let's take a rest since Buffalo hurt. I'm probably gonna have to get more items back on Apple Bloom soon. Anyways, let's save. And while I'm thinking about it, there's one thing I've wanted to do for a while, but with my inventory as full as it's been... Uh, da, da, da. I know... I know Dinky has a bottle rocket on her that I also need to transfer, but... We'll do that after we use a pencil rocket. Oh, we're coming on some bosses soon. Believe you me.
Stupid toad. We were digging, but there was a maze. Now five moles won't let us dig further to get the gems. I can't take this anymore. So, our goal here is to find five moles. Ooh, thirsty coil snake. This is harder than a normal snake, you know why? Because it's a different color. Do need to heal that though. And yeah, if you want to level up in here, that's, this is probably a good place to do it because, well, there's basically an inn right outside. But first things first, let's go up this way where we will find a, t a ladder. A rope ladder. Hello, mad duck. Let's kill the mad duck. A mad duck is ridiculously easy. Oh my god, quit poisoning. Hate poisoning enemies. Probably gonna have to use that caramel soon. Wouldn't be so bad if it didn't use beta. Let's hope we can get the sneak attack on it. Twenty-seven! <laughs> Anyways, above us, to the north, I should say, not up the ladder, is the first of five moles. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters on. We are all moles, of course. I believe I am the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. Well, you're about to be dethroned, third strongest. Uh, I think I can use Flash, which would be good. Winter, and, um, well, how about Pencil Rocket? Oh. Right, I think he has a shield, actually. Oh no, it's a shield against melee attacks. So in other words, I should be good that I didn't hit the, him with the pencil rocket. Now the cave has, only has four moles. Brain capsule. Once again, I'm going to give that to Apple Bloom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a smooth bit of healing with food. Who wants to eat some boots? I think Apple Bloom does. I think I'll just use magic to heal Dinky. If you need the breath, just go outside. Not like it's that far. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's better than the bite attack. I'd rather someone lose their turn than a chick! Why did they have a chick? Anyways, you know about the chick. Raise it and you get money. It takes like only like three minutes to go between stages, I think. At least it wasn't a poisonous bite attack. I won. Well, at least I'm getting rid of some of my inventory. Which also means that I can take this bottle rocket off and give it to Apple Bloom. Yay! At least I have my four sale sign so I can get rid of the chicken when it comes up. I don't really expect to die in here. Here, let's make it easy. As I said, I may have to use some of the caramels in here if I don't want to leave. I hope I still have an exit mouse. No. Actually, I don't. There's an exit mouse in here, so. This place I highly recommend if you think that you're gonna want to leave sometime, you get the exit mouse that's up ahead. For that matter, I just realized that I went through the ladder that I climbed down when I left the last mole room, didn't I? That was stupid. But we should be almost at the exit mouse. Exit Mises. Because they're kind of in the center of this maze. Left center. And lots of presents. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in the Can we take one of them? Yay! I think he got the exit mouse. A croissant? Picnic lunch? Okay, I will take it. So, we just have to keep going up these paths until we find moles. Or ladders. Moles and ladders. It's like shoots and ladders, except it's nothing like shoots and ladders. The only thing they have in common is ladders. And snakes. They both have snakes in them. Anyways, here's a second mole. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. So, do what we always do. Blow shit up. Ooh, that's even better. I love bottle rockets. Yeah, everyone leveled, didn't they? I think that was a nice HP boost, too. Coin of Defense. Is that better than what I have? I should. Okay, 
Yeah, actually, I'm gonna give that to her. Ah, chicken sold. Good. Let's get rid of it now. Yes, they can come to you in caves. Where is the chicken? Stick of butter. That will probably pair well with the croissant. Oh my god, those are giant bugs. Gigantic ant! They look more like bees than ants. Come on, take some from Apple Bloom. My goal is to kill three before I use the, the thing, the exit mouse. But if need be, I'll leave when I have to. I'm not opposed to giving up. I do it quite constantly. Bloom does not have any MP. Uh, let me give Apple Bloom a croissant. Do I? Yes, I do. I took out a croissant and Dinky ate it. Well, it didn't put the butter on, so I guess, yeah. This man, he's new to us. Just, he's mildly annoying. Plus there can be like 20 of him on a screen at once. By 20, I mean like six. I think six is the most of any one enemy they can put on. Or maybe enemies in total. Quit draining my MPs. That's back to the exit mice, I believe. Third mole should be down this way. My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. There's only three of you now. I don't have enough MP for anything. Both of rocket. Yeah, I know it deflects, but so would that. Oh, baby. Sweet, but 25 and 12. Alright, so I'm going to grab this present. Magic Karma inside Bell takes it. Anyways, I'm going to go heal up and in the next episode, we'll find the other two moles. And see if they still think they're the third strongest, even though there's only two of them left. So, this has been Violair. I hope you enjoyed, and have fun.